Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Steve Anderson. I am the Tuscan University Ath Athletics Diversity and Inclusion designee. And here today we have day three, which our theme is Strength and Unity. And today we are talking with our co-presidents with Black Student Union. We have uh, to my left, Ms. Brianna Oates. And then we have below, Mr. Ira Hepburn. How are you guys doing today? I'm well, I'm well. All right. So um, today we just want to talk about uh, how the Black Student Union takes that theme that we have with strength and unity and actually uses it, you know, on campus. So um, as we already know, um, Black Student Union was revived by some students and Dr. Everhard, J Jayla Arwan, Bethany Thomas, amongst a host of other people. I think another name was Brianna Mentor as well, too. Um, so what, we're, what we want to know, what we know is that they were instrumental in getting an African-American studies minor on campus so that, you know, students of color have the option of learning about their history um, without just having to go out and just find random books or numerous books to try to find some information. But how, how important was it for you guys to have students to be able to have an African-American studies minor here at Tuscaloosa University? Um, I think I'll answer that. Uh, for me, I think it's extremely important due to the fact that students can learn about, you know, the past of their African descent and even the future. So I just think, you know, it's critical that students at this university are able to learn about, you know, topics related to that. Okay, you want to add anything, Ms. Brianna? Um, yeah, I would also say that I just think it's really important for students on campus to have a well-rounded education. Um, and the minor is interdisciplinary, so it goes across numerous departments. So that's important for students with different majors to be able to learn things from different cultures, to apply it to when they go into the real world and start working. Um, so I think it's a really good way to have a well-rounded education when you leave Tusculum. Okay, awesome. So I know that you guys are co-presidents and you've been very uh, avid about keeping Black Student Union going. So can you explain to us how much work you've put in yourselves into, into keeping the Black Student Union going and growing? Um, I can start by answering. Um, I think we definitely put in a lot of work uh, communicating with each other and trying to plan events and plan things to recruit. Um, but other than that, I really want to give a shout out to Dr. Everhart for how much she facilitates and works so hard to keep us communicating and keep things going, um, because it's definitely been a huge help since we're busy as student athletes. But I definitely will say that we put in a lot of work to try and keep this thing going and keep it growing. Okay. You want to add anything, off what, Oh, yeah, to bounce off what Bree said, you know, we definitely do put in a lot of work, but, you know, with our members being so engaging and willing to put that work in, it makes everything a whole lot easier. Awesome, awesome. Um, you wanna shout out any of those members? You know, it really helps out with kind of, you know, with everything going on. Yeah, I'll shout out uh, Nick, uh, Taylor Sanders, uh, and the rest of the executive board, you know, for helping out. Awesome, awesome. So, now that you've got it going on, you got it going, you got it growing. So how many members at this present time do you guys have or a ballpark figure? Oh, gosh. I think We're maybe upwards. 26. Yeah. Okay, so no. So upper 20s, mid to the upper 20s. Okay, that, that's a good number. That's a good number, especially for a small campus that we have. So... What events are you looking to have this year? Um, I can start with this dinner we're planning on November 17th and we're having Zambian writer, lawyer and former model. Um, pardon me if I mispronounce her name, but Mubanga Kelly Mamapuento will be coming um, and speaking at that event. Uh, we like to have dinners and involve food with the BSU. So we're planning on doing that and have them speak with us. All right. You want to piggyback on that, Ms. Ira? Um, yeah, I mean, we're just very excited to have her and to learn from her wisdom and see, you know, her literature work uh, in person. So it's very exciting. Okay, did you guys have any past events that you just 
happen to have that really went well? Uh, I can start on that. <laughs> uh, we just we just uh, wrapped up the cookout, BSU cookout, about a week or two ago, and it went really well. Just seeing everyone enjoy themselves, eat good food, you know, it was a great time. All right. I heard the yams are pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who made those. <laughs> Okay, that's yeah, that's awesome. I mean, being able to have, you know, a cookout to be able to kind of get people together, you know, and to spend that time together in a time that you usually wouldn't spend together, especially because you all kind of spanned amongst a lot of different roles, whether it's student athlete, whether it's different teams, whether it's non athletes, you very much have a lot of different type of students within Black Student Union. Um, now, with you guys, you guys are, you know, I believe, Brianna, you're a graduate student. Yes. And I think, Ira, you're a senior this year, correct? Correct. So now that you guys are at the pinnacle of your BSU career, right? You're the co-presidents, but you know that sometimes when you graduate, we have to make sure that things continue on. So how can you help the Black Student Union in sustaining from year to year to make sure that it continues to keep growing and going. Um, I can certainly speak to that. I think now being a fifth year, um, I think a big part of wanting this BSU to continue growing, I think a key point that we have to focus on this year is fun. Um, because genuinely so many students at Tusculum are so busy with school and athletics. Um, they need somewhere to escape. They need somewhere to call home, um, especially people who are really far from home. We want to make the BSU somewhere that they can feel comfortable, they can feel safe, and they can have a good time. Because I think without that, students are just going to feel overwhelmed. Um, so we really like to focus on fun. We really like to focus on community. We really like to focus on connecting with each other. And I think that was, um, that's what's going to really motivate people to continue to come back to the BSU and continue to spread the word about it and keep it growing. Awesome. You want to piggyback on that, Mr. Ira? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, what Bree said was spot on. Uh, I had to say, I think community for me is one of the most important things just because that connection will continually bring people together. So, you know, if we're able to accomplish that this year, uh, making people form close relationships, I think that, you know, the BSU will be in good hands moving forward. Awesome, awesome. So now that you're at, like we said, the pinnacle of your BSU career, your academic career, we're almost at the end. So now that you know that the BSU is going, it's getting some activity, it's building relationships, like Mr. Iris said. What will be your legacy when it comes to leading the Black Student Union? Um, I can start off with that one. I think for me personally, the legacy that I wanna leave is someone who works hard to make these activities happen. And also, you know, someone who could be there for anyone to comfort them through hard times or just to make their day a little bit better. So for me, that's, that's my objective. Okay. Um, I would say for me, what I wanna leave behind is definitely um, a legacy of major growth from one year to the next. I think the BSU really expanded literally within the last year. Um, I just wanna leave a legacy of inspiration, students feeling brave enough to step up and speak up about things that are important to them because that's how the BSU started. A few students got together and just you know, spoke about what was important to them, especially Jayla Arnwine, shout out to her as well. She just spoke up about what she felt was important and now we have this amazing organization with so many students involved. I think I wanna leave that legacy for students in years to come to feel brave enough to speak out about something that they feel passionate about and hopefully create something amazing out of it. So, yeah. No, those are awesome answer guys. Um, so at this time, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. So is there anything that you guys wanna do in terms of like promoting the Black Student Union to other students? 
I will say something. Um, I'll say, don't be afraid to come out to the events. Um, I think a lot of students are afraid that, oh, just because I may not be black or I may be white or whatever they think, they're, they're afraid that they can't come out to the events and um, join in on the fun. And that's definitely not the case, regardless of your, your race, your sex, um, you can come out and enjoy the events that we put on. And you can certainly come to things that we have on campus and still enjoy everything. Um, we're not closed off at all really want students to come out and enjoy the things that we put on because we want to be um, a very welcoming organization on campus, so. You have anything to say about that, Ms. Ira? Uh, yeah, it's a piggyback off what Bree said. You know, I think obviously, you know, we want all students or people to come enjoy, you know, our activities with the BSU, but also, you know, we want people to not be afraid to share their ideas and contribute because we're open to hearing them and, you know, we're always planning on having, you know, good future events. So, yeah. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your busy schedules to uh, meet with us during NCAA Diversity and Inclusion Week. Um, we hope that you have great things going on in the future when it comes to Black Student Union. Um, we want to always continue to make sure that you guys uh, have a place to make sure you represent your ideals and your morals and just to be able to, like you said, be able to build community. So uh, thank you guys for being a part of this interview. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. All right. You all have a great day. Me too. You too.